Today I have a Boston Acoustics, uh, essentially an expensive clock radio is what it is. AM FM radio, but it's got auxiliary inputs and so forth, but very good sound, comparable to the Bose systems. Client says it doesn't work, and the remote control doesn't work. Now I asked him if he put a new battery in this thing, and he showed me. Brand new battery in the package, he even put one in in front of me. Doesn't work. Asked me to take a look at it. So, get it home, plug it in, the unit works. The remote doesn't work. Let's see what's wrong. Okay, that part works, but does the remote control work? Aha! The remote control is not putting out a signal. Well, let's check and see, first of all, whether the remote is putting out a signal. Put the camera in night shot to do that. Yeah, okay. I see a signal. But it doesn't seem to be putting out much of a signal. We'll check the battery. Uh, 3.1. I think that's a little low for a lithium. We'll try a new one. It's a uh, 2025. Mm, I don't know if I've got one of those or not. We'll try a new battery if I've got one and see if that's why this thing's not putting out a signal. Because sometimes these batteries, they get a bit weak and uh, they won't have enough power to power the remote up properly. So you can test the battery. It's a three volt battery. It's measuring 3.1, but most of these measure a little higher than that when they're good. Okay, I've just got a brand new battery. I just opened this one from the package. We'll measure the voltage on this one here. This one's measuring 3.239 volts, which is good. Brand new, out of the package. Just opened it. So here's the old battery out. I'll put this one in. Hmm, nothing. Go back to night shot. Nothing. Just like the other one. You think that this remote might be bad, right? You'd be wrong. I'll show you another battery here. So I've got another battery. This is actually in an old remote. We're going to try this old battery. So this one here, this one's measuring 2.9 volts. If you look at night shot mode, that's what it's supposed to send. So what have we learned here? Well, let's take a look at the brands of the batteries and the one that worked. See that brand? Panasonic CR2025 Voltmeter measuring 2.9 original battery this is a uh, a China special try and focus it here okay put the meter on here 3.18 put it in the holder not doing anything go back to night shot yeah you see just kind of flickering a bit I got another China special battery now this one's a brand new one I just opened the package 3.2 volts we'll put that battery into this unit This is another 
you know, no name Chinese brand battery. What does this one say? I think it's like it's the same as the other one. Anyway, I'm trying to do this all in one shot so you can see there's no there's no trickery here. Okay, this one measured 3.2 volts. Nothing. Doesn't work. Okay. Go back to the Panasonic battery. So what have we learned here today, boys and girls? It's got nothing to do with the voltage because the voltage on both of these batteries is higher than the voltage on this battery. This Panasonic battery came out of another one of these remote controls. I mean, this battery, as you can see, as I showed you before, this one here is measuring 2.9. This came out of this other remote control. This is actually... I'll be showing this thing off at some point if I ever get around to uh, setting it up. It was given to me. It's a, a flat screen TV mount that you can actually tilt. It's ridiculous. And of course, if I put this in tonight shot, you can see it blasts out a signal. But you can actually tilt the TV up and down. Tilt it up and down and turn it left and right. Sitting on the floor was given to me. I might figure, I might find a flat panel to mount on the thing at some point just to play around with it. It's just a, it's just like a floor stand, right, for a flat panel TV, but you can tilt it up and down and turn it left and right. And the stand probably cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars when someone bought it. And then they got a bigger TV. So I got that stand given to me and it's sitting on the floor and I got the remote for it. And I just pulled the battery out of that remote to try it. Let's try it. I got another remote here. Let's see. This is another remote. This is actually the remote for my little MP3 player that I use for my, you know, for testing stuff. Oops, wrong button here. Here we go. As you can see, it blasts out a nice signal too. Let's check this battery out. Oh, this, this one uses different batteries. <laughs> Forget it. Can't test that one. It uses two small batteries. It's the first one of these remotes I've seen that does that actually. Hmm, interesting. Oh well. I can't, uh, I can't test it with that one because that uses a different battery. Anyway, that's what we learned here today, boys and girls. Don't trust your meter. If your remote with a button cell is not working, get a half-decent battery. Not this Chinese crap. Go get a Panasonic or an EverReady or something. Spend a few bucks on it. It'll probably fix it. And again, uh, these, these batteries, both of these batteries, okay, the ones that will not work in this original Boston Acoustics remote, if I put these batteries, how does this thing go in, like this? If I put it into this other remote control, I bet you it's gonna work just fine. Night shot, yep. I'll try the other one. Okay. Current requirements, not voltage. This battery that's in here doesn't have enough jam to make this thing work. So keep that in mind with these remote controls, these credit card type remotes that use lithium batteries. If it's not working and you try a battery that you bought at the dollar store and it doesn't work, don't condemn the remote. This applies to all those Bose systems and these Boston acoustic systems. Uh, don't skimp on the battery. Get a real, get a good battery because chances are that's the only problem with this. Thanks for watching.